Today, we're going to talk about um, negotiating a raise in your current job. I've talked a lot about uh, how you show your value to clients and how you um, charge more for your work. Um, but I haven't actually tackled it from the standpoint of you, you know, you work for someone and you want to raise. The big thing to remember, and that drives me bonkers, is that just because you've been there for, say, a few years does not mean you're entitled to a raise. Do you do that job any better? Why would you get a raise then? That's something that drives me absolutely bonkers. Tenure, or because you've been there a certain amount of time, does not mean you deserve a raise. Um, in fact, even like, you know, say you have a bunch of kids or something and your expenses go up, that is not necessarily your boss's problem. Just like my costs are not my client's problem, really. They want to see the value I provide. So your boss wants to see the value you provide. Have you taken on more work? Are you more capable, more trained? Like those are the things that you need to focus on. You need to focus on how much more valuable you were then. Now you may also look at it and say, well, I'm, you know, I'm paid 20% below what other people in my field are paid. And that may be a product of, um, the place you work even, uh, maybe a product of a few things. Maybe your boss just didn't know. Maybe they did know. And they thought, Hey, you don't know. So I can get away with it. Um, if they knew that they're going to pay you less than they needed to really, then, and they can get away with it, then it's unlikely you're going to be able to get a raise from them. Um, one of the best ways to think about a lot of this is sit in your boss's perspective, sit down and say, if this person came to me and asked for a raise, what would I need to know that they could do to give them this raise? Um, and think of it like that. What, like, if you're coming to me for a raise, what do I, what do I want to know? Like I said before, I want to know that you're more valuable to me, um, that you are producing more revenue even for the business. That's what really comes down to. If you're not producing more revenue, if you're just doing the same job you always did and you're not taking any more responsibility, then why would I give you a raise? Just because you've been around and you asked for it? Eh, whatever. That's not really of a con That's not really a concern to me. Um, now, how long should you stay? Uh, what is sort of the second question is, how do you decide how much you need before searching for another job? And that's really up to you. Um, I budget myself. So I probably take home about 70 to 80,000 a year. Um, but I work half of what my peers work that get paid similarly. And even people that get paid more, I work half as much. So I've decided, you know, and part of it, I've decided how much I need to take home and I don't worry about it after that in, in some respects. Um, so it's up to you. You, you need to budget. You need to, you should sit down. If you haven't done Dave Ramsey's, um, total money makeover, you should do that. Sit down and do your budget, figure out what your monthly uh, expenses are and then figure out how much you need. And then anything past that is really just gravy. So how much do you want? How much are you worth? How much value do you provide, um, to your employer? Um, yeah. And do you leverage it again? I don't think that's another question here. Do I, or should I get a new job and use it as leverage to get my current boss to match it? You can try, but if someone came to me and said, I found another job and they're going to pay me more. And I looked at them and said, you provide me no more value than you did five years ago. I'm going to say, Hey, you are blessed. You can go work with someone else who will pay you more. Cause I don't think you're worth it. That's what it needs to come down to every time. And with a client, you need to show that what I'm going to spend on you, I'm going to make say five to 10 times the return. So as an employer, what I'm going to spend on you, I'm going to make five to 10 times the return. That's it. It's the same basic equation. You just need to um, crunch the numbers differently. Thanks for watching.